Hey everybody, welcome to Standard Surveying Solutions. My name is Stan Russell. Today we are going to go over a problem from the Fundamentals of Surveying exam. It's a, it's a favorite problem of mine because a lot of people think it's very time consuming, very difficult, but if you look at the right equations in the FS Reference Handbook, this problem can be very easy and very quick to solve. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump over and start solving the problem. So what's the problem, Bob? A client wants to create a one-acre parcel by establishing a north-south line BC as shown. The length of side AB is most nearly A, 299.96 feet, B, 352.84 feet, C, 358.73 feet, or D, 366.18 feet. Now let's talk about some equations. So from page 8 of our FS reference handbook is area of a triangle. Our first equation is area is equal to AB sine C all over 2. Our second equation is A squared sine B sine C all over 2 sine A. And our third is a whole bunch of mess that we really don't need to mess with. So let's get into solving this now. So A, our area, is equal to A squared sine of B times the sine of C all over 2 times the sine of A. And with a little bit of algebra, we can solve for line C. So the area is then equal to C squared sine of A, angle A, times the sine of B all over 2 sine of angle C. So let's draw our diagram. So we've got angles A, B, and C. Now we know that angles are always proportional to our north-south lines and east-west. So, angle A, coming off of angle A, there is northeast of 55, and then coming off of angle C, there is southwest, southeast, sorry, of 75. And through opposite interior angles, we can find angle B is 55 degrees and angle C is 75 degrees. then angle B is equal to 55 from opposite interior angles. Angle C is 75, again, from opposite interior angles. And we know that A is equal to 180, which is the full length of a, or full angle of a triangle, minus 55 minus 75. That comes out to 50 degrees. So now we have angle A. We also know that the area is equal to one acre, which is 43,560 square feet. And we are looking for line C, which is also known as line AB. So now we're going to try to solve this. So A is equal to C squared, because we're solving for C, sine of A, which is 50 degrees, sine of B, which is 55, all over times two times the sine of A, or C, I'm sorry. So 43,560 is equal to C squared sine of 50 times the sine of 55 all over 2 times the sine of 75. Now then, just a little bit of calculations. 43,560 is equal to C squared still. times 0 0.628 all over 1.932. Now then, multiplying the division is 84157 is equal to 0 0.628 c squared. And then that means c squared is equal to 
134.009.427, which makes C equal to 366.073 feet. So let's go back to our answer choices. So the correct answer is B is D here, 366.18. We are a little bit off due to rounding, but that was the correct answer. So we can see that this problem really wasn't that hard or difficult. And it was just some simple calculations. Be sure to like, follow, and subscribe for more solutions. And be sure to email us or drop us a comment below if you have any other questions that you'd like us to solve.